Hi everyone, Eva here. Welcome to another video. I'm excited today. I always say that, but it truly really is a joy to, to make these videos and share with you my love for the raw vegan lifestyle. Today I want to show you just a really quick and simple breakfast that you can do if you're struggling with getting enough protein and i know that is ooh, taboo in the raw vegan community we don't we get a plenty of protein we get plenty of protein the greens have protein and yes 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 i've heard it all before but let me tell you sometimes my body does much better with a little bit more protein especially if i'm working out and right now i'm in a workout kick that i'm doing so i am feeling like i do much better when i incorporate a little bit more fat a little bit more protein i still do everything else the same i do my my juices i do my smoothies i do my salads i do all of that but sometimes i literally crave a little something more and if you hear a lot of noise around me it's my cat i have a crazy cat his name is well, we've changed his name a few times. Uh, it was Leo and now it's Louie. And the cat is jumping around like he's on some kind of speed or something. And so if you see a flying cat around me, that's my new kitten. Anyway, that my friend Sherry uh, gifted us with because she had fostered a mama cat and now so the mama cat had kittens and now they all got adopted and so we have a crazy cat here but enough enough about the cat so sometimes I feel like when I come back from the gym I don't really want a smoothie and in my smoothies I've been putting a little bit more some days I put a little protein powder sometimes I put a little bit more uh, daily green boost or vitamineral greens or I put extra greens or I put a little bit of nut butters in there but sometimes I want something I don't know, more, less sweet, more, I don't know, protein rich. And so I've been having these amazing cereals in the morning and after the gym actually. So, okay, the cat is now climbing over the chair behind you. I have to show you my cat, hold on. Louis, come here. Louis, Leo, whatever your name is, come here, come here. Okay, this is the crazy cat. Say hello, hello. Hello, <laughs> isn't he cute? <laughs> so he flies, yeah, he literally like jumps. This morning he was jumping on my head. He climbs over, I think the walls he, he can do, he can climb the walls. But anyway, this is our new baby. Say hello to the people. Say hello to the people. Isn't he cute? What name do you like? Hey, good idea, vote below with your name, Louis. Or uh, Leo, 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 however you want to pronounce it. I pronounce it Leo, the Spanish way, but my daughter say Leo, so that's the confusion. And now I, um, I also like Basil as a name. And um, anyway, I think it's between Leo and Louis. Okay, here he goes. He's gotta go. Um, so yeah, let me know what name you prefer. I think I'm going for Louie. But anyway, back to the video, people. Back to the video. So I'm going to make a bowl of my cereal that I've been having in the morning. So enough about that. The first thing you're going to need is to have some almond milk or nut milk. And lately, I've been really into Brazil nut milk. So the thing about making this cereal quickly is that you already have your milk done. And usually, I make milk every three or four days. And... Um, so today I don't have any milk, so I'm going to make it with you. But, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm going to have to put him away. He's a terror. Louis, stop it. You want to go in your room? He's so bad. Did you see the camera shake? That was the cat. Um, so I'm going to make nut milk today. This is going to be a very entertaining video. I just have a feeling that the cat's going to fly any minute. I'm training him not to jump on the counters, and for that I get a little... Uh, spray water bottle and I just fill it up with water and every time he tries to jump on the counter I spray him a little bit and that way he gets scared of jumping on the counter because I do not like cats on kitchen counters that is just like I do not like that I never have I, I just can't have it so uh, let me just get started I'm gonna make some nut milk first and I'm sure you've made nut milk before it's super easy uh, let's go okay so nothing too complicated right you just get a little bit of almonds i like to do uh, a little bit lower fat milk so i'm going to do one cup of almonds and like i said have this at the ready it lasts about three days in the fridge 
Let's see. Okay, almond. I like to put a couple of dates to sweeten. These are already pitted. Do ne never put <laughs> pits in your Vitamix. It'll ruin the blades. I've done that. Okay, and then I do a little bit of cinnamon. Just a little something. Then I do, I'm trying to be quick because I know you guys don't have time to be sitting there watching me make almond milk. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of water. Actually quite a lot of water. I do about one cup of almonds to, what was this, 32 ounces of water? Because I like it a little bit lower fat. You could, you know what you could do? You could do coconut water too, that is delicious. But anyway, let's, here we go. Okay, now very easily you put it through here. And by the way, I'm not a professional. People sometimes write me the meanest things like, well, you keep saying this or you keep saying that or you uh, or don't talk fast enough or you don't get to the point well enough or whatever it is. And I'm not, I'm not a professional. I just want to point that out sometimes. <clears throat> People expect a little too much from me. I'm not a broadcaster. I don't have a degree in, in um, journalism, broadcasting journalism. And yet sometimes I'm just, these videos are very, it's just me, the camera, a freaking ring light. You know what I mean? I don't have a camera person. So it's just me. So I try to do my best and I try to edit my best. But anyway, don't be mean with the comments, people. If you have to need to leave a mean comment, that says more about you than it does about my skills, right? Anyway, so now get get a good um, nut milk bag, by the way. It makes all the difference. I've had some really bad ones and I've had better ones. And this one I really like. It's, it's nylon, which is not ideal. Some people prefer the cotton, but the cotton I feel like... They don't do as good a job. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I had a bad cotton one, but I like this one. Can you see okay? Like I said, I don't have a camera person. My child sometimes helps me, my youngest. But um, anyway, you squeeze all the milk out and there's your nut milk. I mean, how, how easy is that? No cows were impregnated against their will. Then their baby's taken and then the milk stolen, right? It's just so easy. And then you can buy milk too. I mean, don't get me wrong. You could make this a lot quicker if you just buy your own milk. But I prefer to make my milk. My kids don't like me to make their milk. They prefer, they prefer the store-bought milk. Um, I wish they would drink this. They did when they were little and then they grew up and then they started doing whatever they, they wanted. <laughs> that happens, I guess. I have teenagers now. They're 15 and 13. So now they're just kind of like making up some rules of their own and I don't have as much control, which really, really does suck. But anyway, enough about that. So let me get a, paper, a towel. So now your milk is ready. And I mean, how creamy and delicious is that? That's just pure goodness right there, pure milk. And it tastes delicious. And all of this is almonds. And then you know what you can do is rotate your nuts. Um, rotate the nuts and use different nuts all the time. Sometimes I make walnuts, sometimes I make, I make pistachio not too long ago. The thing about the nuts is you should already have them soaked and dehydrated. I don't just take nuts out of a bag and make nut milk with them. These nuts that I have here in this jar have already been soaked for over 24 hours. They've been dehydrated in my dehydrator right behind me. And then I put them in the jar and they're ready ready to go at a moment's notice. I sometimes let them rehydrate a little bit. I soak them in the water a little bit longer. I didn't today in the interest of time, but they're fine because they've already been activated. So there's my milk right here. And now I'm gonna show you what I put in my cereal bowl. Hold on, aren't these pretty lids? I got these on Amazon. And I'm trying not to buy so many things from Amazon, but dang it, they have good, um, they have good things, right? If you ever see something at a store and you think, never really could get it cheaper on Amazon, it sucks. And I'm trying to do better, but anyway, I did get these on Amazon and they're just so cute because they're different colors, they're universal. They fit all the, all the mason jars, they fit the white mouth and isn't that cute? <laughs> anyway, so for my cereal, this is what I do. I get a pretty bowl because you do eat with your eyes too. And I love these bowls. This is like an infomercial at this point, okay. I get some buckwheat groats. Okay, these are my goodies here. 
this is a little bit of a haphazard video i'm sorry i get some buckwheat groats these already have been soaked and dehydrated they are again they're in my jar because they're ready to go and the thing about these buckwheat grows, a lot of people don't realize is that these are super high in protein and minerals and they are not, they do not contain gluten. And what I like about them, they're also a prebiotic. That means they're food for your gut uh, bacteria. And what I like about them is they feel like you're eating cereal. They're, a, they're not a grain, they're, so they are, they're like a pseudo cereal. Some people refer to them. They feel like a cereal, but actually they're very widely used. They're kind of catching on here in the United States, but they're very widely uh, used in uh, Eastern European countries, I am told. Um, from people that tell me oh, yeah, my, my grandmother used to make dishes with that stuff. So I, they're very versatile I make crackers with these I make um, my cereal with it. I put them sometimes I cook with them for my family. So I mean, I'm really liking these um, This buckwheat. So all I do oopsie is I put one two uh, This is kind of like a big spoon Then I put some chia seeds not too many about maybe one tablespoon and what i like about chia seeds again super high in protein right and i'm just going to show you what that looks like so far can you see okay in there anyway i need a camera person and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to do some flaxseed as well but the trick about flaxseed is it has to be freshly ground it can't be bought ground already it loses a lot of its nutrition and it actually goes quite rancid very very quickly so always buy your flaxseed i'm sure most of you know this but i'm just going to repeat it anyway um, buy it uh, whole and then grind it yourself at home and i like to keep it in the fridge because again it goes rancid it's actually very not heat tolerant it likes to be kept in the cool so i'm going to get my uh, flaxseed for grinding my flaxseed. I like to use my little um, I've had this for a long time actually uh, this thing doesn't refuses to die this Nutribullet is from I don't know when it's from a long, very long time ago I've had it probably 10 years and I bought it to travel. This is <laughs> This is like before I was raw. This is what I thought was a good smoothie to have. This was my travel smoothie maker <laughs> I mean, this is like and I, I wash, but I used to think that this was a good smoothie size. But anyway, so I bought this to travel. So I put, I buy this. Spectrum is a really good brand, but sometimes I get it at Costco too. Uh, one, one of these heaping of the flaxseed, and I put it in here. And the good thing about this is that it grinds really, really well. So. Okay, and that's pretty much it. That's all you need to do. It kind of comes out like wheat germ, like, um, you know, that kind of thing. Okay, so then I'm gonna put it in my cereal. This is what it looks like. Right, nothing too exciting. But it does taste really good, actually, and it's very satisfying. So then I'm going to put my milk. Okay. It'll get softer a little bit with the milk. I'm going to add some blackberries. Let's just not be shy with the blackberries, shall we? I'm hungry. <laughs> Let's get the blackberries in there. I also have these cute little Thai bananas. Look, excuse my mess. Okay, I'll clean up later. These cute little bananas. These are like Thai bananas. I'm not sure. I found them at the um, I found them at the uh, Asian supermarket, and what I found is that these are very dense and creamy, and I quite like them. I've had them before, but I did not let them ripen enough, so that I did not like them. But they're kind of oh no, they're apple bananas. Cause you know what? They smell like apple. So there's one banana and then I'll do another one. And you know, the reason I change, I try not to eat the same stuff every day, the same fruit every day. I have been eating the, the cereal probably once or twice a week, but I do always switch up the fruit. So today I have blackberries and I'm using this, this apple bananas some, or Thai bananas, whatever they are, I'm sorry. Sometimes I might do blueberries, sometimes I might do strawberries, sometimes I might do regular bananas, but I do, I do try to switch it up 
I have read this one book called Fiber Fuel. I don't know if you guys are familiar, but basically you want to be eating a great variety of plants, not just the same things. And I hate to tell you, but a lot of raw foodies out there are eating the same thing every time they eat. They, they just like have like a few things and they rotate. And that's not good long term. I'm sorry, but it isn't. So if you're eating, like I said in a lot of my videos, if you're eating a lot of bananas, there's just more nutritionally sound fruit out there, more nutritionally found fruit out there. The darker the fruit, the better. And right now we've been eating a lot of peaches because it's been delicious, you know, um, peach season here in California, or you know, summer fruit, a lot of uh, stone fruits we've been eating. I just had a watermelon, but I mean, I try to obviously eat seasonally, but I always, within that season, I always try to rotate. Like I hadn't had these bananas in a long time and I hadn't had blackberries. I had been eating figs and anyway, just try and get as much variety. Go to Asian supermarkets. Sometimes you can get different stuff in there. Shop at your local uh, farmer's markets, which is actually your best source of very, very fresh and very, you know, much higher quality stuff that you can buy at the supermarket, certainly much better than Costco. And what another thing I've been doing a lot is shopping more often, which is something that I always said I wouldn't do because I'm busy, but I have found that leaving the food in the fridge for a few days doesn't really, it's just better to go maybe twice a week and get fresher stuff and then just eat it more quickly and not just store stuff in there so i know we do the best we can listen i'm not trying to tell you how to do it for yourself i'm just sharing how i do it for myself and <clears throat> some people sometimes say well we can't do you know i can't do that and you're just putting setting the bar up too high i understand you know this is what i'm doing for me don't don't feel like you have to do the same thing i'm just sharing i'm not saying how you should do it so anyway then the last thing I do is add a little bit more cinnamon because I do love cinnamon and you know cinnamon reduces inflammation and I did work out this morning and I had a heavy light workout so I'm going to put a little bit of cinnamon and sometimes, sometimes, not so much lately because I had a, a period where I was having a little too much honey and I also got some mean messages about the honey, I'm sorry. I shouldn't say raw vegan, I should just say raw foodie because I do eat honey sometimes and I do think honey is good for you. And I buy very local honey from a person that is like very good to his bees. And so sometimes I eat bee pollen and I eat propolis and I eat that kind of stuff. And sometimes I put honey. But So if I wanted to make this really, really decadent, I would put some honey on it. But I'm not going to do honey today. So anyway, that's my video for you. Let me just show you my, my, my bowl, my delicious breakfast bowl, what it looks like. It's got delicious... I'm um, seeing now that the uh, the seats have been in there for a while, it's getting a little bit more dense and it's getting a little bit heavier. Can you see okay? Anyway, that's it for today. I thank you for sticking through the video. The cat actually behaved himself. I do not know. I think he's climbing a plant as we speak. And so thank you so much for sticking through this chaotic video. I really appreciate you guys being there. I hope you have a beautiful Sunday and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Wanted to add that I added some mulberries <clears throat> for maximum deliciousness. There it is.